hello guys welcome back to another video guys in today's video i will be sharing with you the Ghanaian famous chips guys i tried this Ghanaian famous chips and it was so good i love it because of the onion flavor and the garlic flavor in it so in the bowl i already have two cups of all people's flour which i already sieve and I will be adding a pinch of salt to this flour. I will be adding my nutmeg for flavor. Okay guys, this is the reason why I love this chips so much. The onion flavor in this chips and the garlic flavor is so amazing. Okay, so I love the flavor of onion in those chips. So I will be grating this onion and the garlic and I will add it into the mixture. I'll be adding just a teaspoon of sugar. Just a teaspoon. You don't want to get the taste of sugar in those chips. So just a teaspoon is okay. Oh, this is optional. If you like, you can add. If you like, don't add. So I'll just mix up the flour, the upper post flour, the pinch of salt I added, and um, nutmeg. So these are the only thing I've added so far. Just give that a quick mix, and yeah. After mixing it, just add one over two cup of butter. This is at room temperature. You use your pastry blender to miss everything to combine so at this point i'll be adding one tablespoon of the onion and garlic that i blended earlier and i will miss everything properly to combine Over here, I have one cup of water, but I'll be adding the water gradually. I won't add everything so you don't have a running butter. So I'll add and, you know, mix to combine gradually until you've gotten the consistency you are looking for. After mixing everything, you just go ahead and start rolling it out. So at this point, I'll be using my pizza cutter just to cut straight. If you have your pasta machine, use your pasta machine. But yeah, I don't have it. I'll be using my pizza cutter. At this point, I'm done cutting, okay, and I already have my oil preheating, okay, so I will just transfer the cut chip dough into the hot oil. You should you fry the chips until it's cooked, and you have to keep moving it so they all cook evenly.
so here our chips is ready i will go ahead and do the same thing to other dough and yeah you have your Ghanaian delicious chips to enjoy thank you so much for watching this was what's giving a try and you will also love want to try out this recipe the onion flavor and the garlic flavor in this chips is so good i hope you enjoy watching this video and i hope you give this a try i really do appreciate you guys for always watching commenting please share and yeah i would love to read your comment thank you so much and have a lovely day bye